This is honestly one of the craziest things I have ever seen. This literally took me no time and zero effort to do. The attention to detail here and the animations would take me years to do. I honestly can't believe that it outputted it like this. Hey guys, welcome back to what might be the most exciting video I've ever created. As you're about to see, Anthropic has completely outdone themselves again. Stay tuned for the full video where I show how I managed to launch an entire business and website in just 30 minutes. Now, unless you've been living under a rock for the last 24 hours, you've had to have seen some of the buzz around Sonnet 3.7. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. Everyone and their mother is talking about it. And if you haven't heard, don't worry, I'll break it down in this simple video and show real world applications of how Claude 3.7 can honestly change your life. So this is the news article that was dropped by Anthropic. I'm not just going to go through this entire thing. You can read it for yourself. I'll link it below. But just some of the cool things that I thought about while reading this. It's really the first hybrid reasoning model that lets you choose between quick response or extended thinking. And if you're new to reasoning models, it basically just shows you the model's full thinking process and works step by step in solving whatever prompts you throw at it like a real human would. And it shows those thinking steps, which is insanely cool. And I'll get in how you can switch between these models. And this isn't something new or groundbreaking as ChatGPT, OpenAI hinted at the release of their next model that was going to be doing this same thing, but Claude 3.7 just beat them to the punch. So this kind of gets into how it's different from other reasoning models, basically getting into that they think it should be integrated and hybrid settings such as we're seeing here and saying that it is in both an ordinary LLM and a reasoning model all in one and you can pick whichever model you want. And another cool thing about Cloud 3.7 is that they're just releasing this to all planned users, free, pro, enterprise, all plans have access to this model. Now, just my first takeaways, I haven't used it yet. You're going to see it live first time here. I'm expecting this is just going to be 3.5 just on steroids. With everyone knowing 3.5 is just an expert coder, and especially working within Cursor, it is just next level. And I'm thinking 3.7 is just going to blow that out of the water. So another cool thing that I liked about this was kind of their projections and a look ahead. You can kind of see where Anthropic and the team thinks we are now and where Claude does hours of independent work for you. And we kind of see this a lot with any of our automations or AI agents that we're building. If you look at any of my videos in the past using AI agents or any AI automations, I completely agree with this and where we are right now. The super cool thing is this look ahead is where Claude finds breakthrough solutions, challenging problems, that would have taken teams years to achieve, which I think is amazing. And just thinking about the million of different things that AI could become or possibly will become in the future. Another cool thing is with this 3.7 model, they've reduced unnecessary refusals by 45% compared to its predecessors. What that means is the chat model will not mistakenly refuse your prompt if you're asking for something that it thinks is unsafe or unsecure, such as if you ask it to write a story about someone breaking into their house because they left their keys inside. In past models, this may have been flagged or refused to even write a story about somebody breaking into a house. So with this kind of broad overview, like I said, you can totally read through this entire thing. It is pretty interesting to see some of the stats. I'm not gonna go into the benchmarks and I'll link this below, like I said, for you to read if you want, but I just wanna get to using this. So you see I have Claude open here and you see I have Claude 3.7 on it selected and this is how you go through the thinking modes this will be the quick response and then this extended will be the reasoning model and all you have to do is just literally click in between each one to be able to use either model which is just insanely nice you don't have to go through clicking different models now i will say whenever you are toggling between each two you will have to use a new chat window so whatever you ask in an extended or the reasoning model, you will have to open up a new chat prompt if you wanna switch back to normal or vice versa. So let's just go into 3.7 and the extended reasoning model. For today's video, I kind of wanted to test all realms of 3.7 Sonnet and see what it can do. Especially for a beginner, I really need it to do a lot of the heavy lifting for me, especially from the coding aspect and some of the planning aspects. So just to get into it, I'm just gonna ask it for a business idea that meets specific criteria, and see if we can build a business from ground up within the next 20 minutes or so. Build a website for it, do some automations, and have a full-blown business by the end of this video. So I just took the time to type out this prompt. As you can see, it's just asking, I need a business idea that meets a specific criteria, solves a real-world problem, potential for high profit margins and scalability, leverages emerging technologies, could realistically be started within the next three months, and an ideal exit of eight figures. And I also want actionable steps with a 30-day roadmap. So 
I'm in Claude 3.7, so I'm gonna click that, and we are gonna run this. And you see it's thinking here, and we can just open this, and this is crazy to me. How it's going step by step through everything here. A human is asking for a business idea. <laughs> That's crazy. AI powered senior care monitoring plat platform. That's pretty cool. So it's going through multiple different businesses here. Food waste reduction, micro learning platform, and it's ultimately gonna pick the best one. So we just got our final response. You see it took 26 seconds here. We can kind of see where it went through. So it went through one, two, three, four, five. Five different business ideas within 26 seconds and gave us the best outcome that it thinks. So an AI powered food inventory and waste management system for restaurants, seems interesting. And let's just get down into the prompt here. So problem and opportunity, restaurants lose four to 10% of purchased foods before it reaches customers. This is actually pretty cool. It's basically just automating and using AI to enhance and make the process of inventory management more streamlined and more efficient to make sure there's not as much restaurant waste. So it goes into the solution here, computer vision to automatically track inventory levels, IoT sensors, ROI positive from day one, immediately reducing costs. And it goes through profit model scalability, and it's basically a SaaS with charging a monthly subscription, half to eight figure exit, and reach 50 to 300 million. I'll take more of that. So start today, interview five restaurant owners about inventory challenges, document workflows, pain points, join groups, build connections, and set up initial project management infrastructure. And it goes through the 30 day roadmap that I asked for. So by week four, deploying an MVP to two to three friendly restaurants in your network. So now that we have our business, we are going to just jump right into this project. So I'm gonna ask Claude again, to generate brand and identity, such as name, logo, concept, value prop, position, graph, marketing materials. Actually, before that, networking, building client base. Give me other, give me two other, dude, same thing. Let's just send that as well and see what we get. So we got us a name, fresh logic, profit from every ingredient. I wanna hire them already. Okay, so we have logo concept, brand personality, value proposition. Okay, it's pretty good. We have everything that we need here. Content automation, create AI generated weekly industrial food reports. I like this idea, develop a sustainability score and it gave us two competitors. So it seems like these two competitors are kind of opposites. This one has limited AI capabilities while this one is camera-based AI systems. So it seems like Fresh Logic is the next big thing. So to do this, let's just spin up a quick website to be able to show people whenever we are networking. So next I want it to basically create instructions for Cursor to be able to build this website out. So create a comprehensive markdown file directly into cursor, all the necessary complete, next JS tailwind for fresh logic. Pick a theme of your choosing, make it something fun and cool. Maybe, uh, let's just leave it at that. And I want it to kind of follow us kind of specific guidelines. So I want it to go um, sections, project setup, website structure, page by page development prompts, uh, website structure. Oh, let's send and let's see how that does. So it's creating a lot of stuff here really quickly. Um, instructions needed to automatically generate Next.js Tailwind website, Fresh Logic, the theme, Tech Garden. I like that. Oh, da, da, da. Goes into project setup, website structure, components and UI. See, I accidentally sent that without completing my prompt and it even went ahead for me. <clears throat> That's absolutely crazy. Goes into ROI calcul calculator, footer, blog components. So I didn't even ask it for a blog and it's given me a blog forms to be able to sign up and animations. This is absolutely crazy. Data data visualization components. This is nuts. And then it's even going into page specific content, which what I was going to get into right after website structure, but it did it all on its own. This is completely mind blowing. 
features page. Wow, this, this is absolutely crazy. So it goes through everything that I went through here. Wow, so let's just go ahead and jump right into cursor and see if we can get this to work. Okay, so I basically just put that entire markdown file that Claude 3.7 gave us into a markdown within cursor, within a new project. And I'm just gonna fully YOLO this. So I'm gonna get another prompt from Claude asking to give us a cursor prompt. So I'm gonna make sure that we have Claude 3.7 in cursor and I'm just gonna choose the thinking model and go for it. Wow, this is insanely fast. Okay, so we're starting a Next.js project. You already see it's creating this project for us. Next.js, Tailwind. So as it's going through that entire markdown file, I'm just gonna fast forward a lot of this. It took about 20 to 30 minutes for it to go through that entire markdown file and create everything that you're gonna see by the end of it. So I'm just gonna jump to the end of it and I will see you at the final reveal. Okay guys, it is finally done about 30 minutes after and we are going into try and run this. I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. So npm run dev and we'll see how it goes. Created a ton of different dependencies and different pages and files and folders. Did a ton of work. I wish I had a counter on how many lines of code it actually wrote and deleted and wrote again, but let's try and go into it. Let's try and get this to open up. And now it's giving us some errors here. 812 modules, sex type invalid. Let's just copy and paste this and put it right back in and see. Let's do stuff all. Okay. All right, let's put that error back in there and see if it can fix it on its own. So obviously guys, I'm not a senior developer or a web designer or anything. So I'm kind of just YOLOing this full out and seeing where it takes me. Okay, we're gonna run it again and see how this goes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, dude. Guys, <laughs> we've got a website. Now, clearly there's a ton of things wrong with it, but we've got a full on website and I didn't do a single thing. Okay, these pages don't really work. Have full drop down menus on features inventory tracking, demand forecasting, waste prevention, integrations, report and analytics, cost management. We've got a framework, guys. Let's see. Okay, the, the light and dark mode works. We've got some dummy data in here. This home page is pretty interesting. Everything you need to manage a restaurant inventory with some really cool animations to these cards popping up with some good dummy data. This is crazy. I'm assuming these are supposed to be pictures here. They're probably not pulling in correctly. How fresh logic works. Our streamlined approach makes inventory management effortless. See if these work. These are actually set up correctly. If these pictures would pull in, I bet this would look amazing. But these work, set up your inventory, track usage and orders, monitor in real time, analyze and optimize, see how much you could save. This is crazy. So this is the ROI calculator that I was really curious how it was gonna work. See if this works. Wow. these. These actually work. Let's see if this, this is absolutely crazy, guys. Let's see what happens if I click here. Started, so it brings me to probably a pricing page that doesn't work. It's probably just the same error that it's all getting on how that, those pages are being pulled in. So those probably not that big of an issue. Reduce food and waste, save time, boost profits. Love by restaurant owners. This is crazy. We've got social proof, a complete section of Customer reviews here. Maria Rodriguez, owner at Coastal Kitchen. Fresh Logic has completely transformed how we manage our inventory. That's crazy. I'm sure these are supposed to be badges here. Pricing plans includes 14 day free trial, no credit card required. And this page just keeps going on and on. This would take me years to finish. So we have an FAQ down at the bottom. Contact our team, ready to transform your inventory management. Stay informed where you can sign up and put your email. We got to fix these buttons. Oh, they, they work. They're just shaded incorrectly. And a full footer with badges for our Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, everything. This absolutely blew my mind, guys.
this is crazy. Let's see if any of these work. Okay, those don't work. Okay, what about the pricing? Okay, so clearly, I mean, we've got the framework of the website working. We just need to make sure the pages are working. We've got everything here. So let's go ahead and see if I can get the other pages to kind of work. So I'm just going to type in a cursor. I know you can't see it, but every page, I think it should be a pretty quick fix and a pretty seamless thing. Or maybe it's just how it's routing for the pages. And boom, look at that, guys. We've got a full, obviously, the formatting and everything could be a little bit better. I didn't give it any instructions on how to format it or anything like that. Completely created these files about Fresh Logic revolutionizing restaurant inventory management with AI powered solutions that reduce waste and increase profitability. See if it made all the pages. Okay, so there, here's the pricing page. This is crazy. Like I said, this can, does this work? This works, this actually is crazy. I'm absolutely blown away, guys. So guys, Claude 3.7 absolutely blew me away. I cannot believe this made this entire website for this complete business. Oh, that image tried to pop up. I bet these images are crazy. Okay guys, I just tried to ask it to fix the images and let's see if it did it. And boom, we have images. So I don't know what this has to do with AI restaurant business, but the pictures just make it look 20 times better and more presentable. Like I would be way more confident to go up to a business owner or a restaurant or any sort of networking event with this website in my back pocket to be able to say, hey, this is who we are, this is our work, and this is kind of what we stand for. So these images, yeah, they're stock images, but they make it the look and feel of the website 20 times better. So that we even have images down here. Like this makes this website just complete here. This is just amazing. And this ROI calculator for it to actually work. So you can have these percentages, these work, small, medium, large, for payback periods. The copy of this website is absolutely insane, even for dummy data here. The billing, I'm absolutely blown away by this product. And we have an about page, can be formatted so much better, but you get the idea. And I didn't even have to lift a finger to put this into the directory, make this a page, put headers and text in here. See, we have a pricing page. So we have a simple transparent pricing page. All plans include 14 day trial. This is nut monthly billing, annual billing, save 20%. <laughs> That's crazy. Contact us everywhere. So many calls to action. We have compare plans here. And just to remind you, this was from two or three prompts to Sonnet 3.7 reasoning model to get us from zero business to where we are now. Came up with everything on its own. Absolutely crazy. So we even have FAQ. Are there any long-term contracts? Can I change plans? All applicable to the actual business that we're running. Guys, if you aren't as blown away as I am, I don't know what to tell you. We even have a features page, powerful features for smarter inventory. Guys, this would take me years to do detailed feature overview, demand forecasting, smart alerts, cost management. Guys, this is absolutely nuts. And to go back to the home page, guys, I can't stress it enough. 3.7 just blew me away. I can see so many use cases for this, not only in the website space, but in automations, just anything from day-to-day -day life that you can totally leverage this for. The little amount of effort it took me to go from nothing to this in just a little under 30 minutes is absolutely crazy to me. Guys, so if you like this content, please like, subscribe, comment, Tell me what you're gonna do with Sonnet 3.7 and stay tuned for future videos. I'm gonna be using this a ton more as I'm seeing just so many potential opportunities. And until then, see you in the next one.